This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Darren Blasuti. He is the president and CEO of America's Gold and Silver Corp. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, USA on the TSX and USAS on the NYSC American. And America's Gold and Silver is participating at the Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek hybrid event happening right now, September 8th through the 11th. And with that, Darren, thank you so much for joining me again. How are you doing? Great. My pleasure, Robert. I wish I uh, was, wish I was joining you in Beaver Creek. I, I wish I was, I wish I myself was there, but you know, we're, uh, we just have to enjoy our digital unit, our metaverse as I was just doing some research right now. So oh, metaverse. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I, I really, again, appreciate you joining on again. And uh, you know, we talked last year, published that interview on uh, September 10th, 2020. So we'd love to get an update. You know, what, what would you say are some of the company's highlights in the last 12 months or so? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a difficult year, I think, for a lot of resource companies, especially for us. I mean, uh, the the real highlight has been our our kind of resurgence in the silver space. I mean, we've had a good, obviously, good run in the silver price probably last year. We, we had a good price as well, but we really saw from kind of the, you know, after COVID, the uh, 2018, um, or sorry, the two, the, the, the lows in the, in, in the silver hitting, you know, $12.00 hitting the euphoria of hitting $29. And we've kind of stabilized now in that $24, $25 price range, which uh, of course is an excellent price for silver producers. And so for us, the real high highlight has been our Galena project in uh, Wallace, Idaho. Uh, that mine uh, has been around since the 1880s, one of the first uh, US silver mines. And uh, we did a joint venture with Eric Sprott a few years ago because the mine just didn't have any expiration. And uh, we've managed to take that mine from 58 million ounces of silver to now about 187 million ounces of silver in the last couple of years. Another uh, 50, 50 million added this year uh, as of June 30th, 2021. That's going to drive uh, silver production at the mine for about 1.1 million this year to over 5 million ounces of silver uh, in Idaho by 2025. So kind of a, think about yearly chunking up uh, you know, three quarters of a million to a million ounces a year over the next three or four years. But the mine uh, itself has been rejuvenating with Eric's money. He gave us about $20 million. Doesn't seem like a lot, but when you had a mine that has uh, been undercapitalized for almost 20 years, getting that kind of money allowed, and you can see obviously growing resources. And quite frankly, it's one of the highest grade mines in, in, uh, in the Americas with this kind of, uh, this kind of grade. So you not only do you have 187 million ounces at the property in, in all categories of silver, you've got a, you've got a, a about a, a 300 gram or a, almost, a, you know, 10 ounce, uh, 10 ounce material here. Plus you got uh, uh, some lead and some copper. So that, that the growth of that mine is, is something the company's really focused on. Uh, you talked about the highlights. One of the lowlights for the year is our mine in Mexico, which is a silver mine has been blockaded for quite a period of time, not out of um, what I'd call social unrest or something our social license to operate, but rather um, uh, some some local, uh, non-local uh, extortionists trying to extort businesses from uh, local businesses that we have set up with, it, with ajitos in the area for their own gain. And so we said no to that took us uh, quite a period of time, but we've just announced an agreement on July 6th with the Mexican government to get the mine reopened. And in fact, this weekend, uh, tomorrow, we'll be recalling our workers and we'll have 300 people working back there again. And that mine produces two and a half to three million ounces of silver a year. So on its silver side, we're looking at really growing our business when finally we've had great silver prices. And so that's, that's kind of the highlights of the last year. Um, we built a gold mine in Nevada that mine is uh, is uh, is um, trying to get its recoveries up. It's not quite profitable yet. Uh, silver mine's very profitable, the gold mine. So that catalyst as we go through to the end of the year to get that mine up into where it's, it's money making is the next part. So we got the silver growing through Galena, uh, our Mexican mine, San Rafael reopening uh, as of uh, October 1st. And then as we get through those two catalysts, which are, are big money makers for us, it's really getting into uh, to, uh, to to Relief Canyon, our Nevada mine, and getting that to be profitable before the end of the year. 
Very good. I appreciate you uh, giving me the, the highlights and, and some of the lowlights. Did you get, yeah, I mean, give, it is what it, you give, know. Given the lights. <laughs> you, you can't talk about uh, always good things. I mean, it's the mining industry. Things happen. It's difficult. Uh, as I said, it's been a, it's been a tough year for the company. Um, uh, but it's also, you know, in our reserves and resources, you know, if you think about it as a silver company, we have about 180 million ounces of silver. And if you take the lead and zinc and, and copper, we're at almost 400 million ounces of silver in our resource base. Those mines are built and operating. Uh, and we'll, sorry, when the Mexican mine operates on October 1st, and our, our, and our market cap's $150 million. We're projecting for the company in total to our account over 5 million ounces by 2023. So, you know, as we grow from a million plus now, to that five, and then eventually Galena will get higher than that. But for the next, you know, couple of years, it's a great time to be a silver producer. Very good. All right. So then, before I let you go, you know, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year, 2021, going into 2022? So I'd say number one, we just announced a 50 million ounce resource increase at Galena, and uh, the 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 catalyst will be third quarter production because it will be up about 50% from where first and, and uh, kind of the first half of the year was as we're starting to, to increase uh, the size of that mine. So that'll be number 50 million ounces plus people recognizing instead of producing say 220 or 230,000 ounces a quarter, we're now gonna be producing 338,000 ounces a quarter and that number rising. So that'll be a catalyst. I think Mexico itself, uh, Mexico makes 3 million ounces of free cash flow a month when it's up and running. Uh, and that's been shut down for 18 months. So October 1st is a big date as we start uh, to produce out of that mine again. And then I think the third catalyst is clearly getting the gold mine to work properly. And uh, we, we uh, you know, it's been a challenge and all of, you know, the uncertainty around Galena's ability to make money, which is our Idaho silver asset, the blockade in Mexico and, and the gold mine have all been negatives. And so we're all coming out of that. We're, we're seeing that in our rear view mirror. We're starting to see the light and, and cash flow generation coming uh, just around the corner. Very good. So with that, where can our audience go and find more information on America's gold and silver? Uh, well, on our website, of course, at americasilvercorp.com or America's, sorry, americas-gold.com. I apologize. That was the old website last year when we met. Uh, or, you know, call Steph and Andrea or I. We're on the website. Uh, we're happy to take any of your, uh, your calls or questions. Very good. Well, Darren, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Yeah, hopefully we beat you in person next time. Yeah, same here. So uh, again, my name is Robert Kraft. I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek hybrid event this year. Uh, happening right now, America's Gold and Silver is participating. And thank you all for watching.